एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर 8 ऑफ क्लास 5 ऑफ मैथ्स दैट इज मैपिंग योर वे सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स नाउ टर्न टू पेज नंबर 113 क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज हियर इज अ फोटोग्राफ टेकन फ्रॉम अ हेलीकॉप्टर यू कैन सी राजपथ द रोड व्हिच जॉइंस इंडिया गेट टू राष्ट्रपति भवन मार्क वेयर ऑन राजपथ विल अदिति बी सो गाइस यू कैन सी द पिक्चर इन योर बुक क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज हैव यू सीन अ मैप ऑफ अ सिटी आंसर इज यस आई हैव सीन अ मैप ऑफ अ सिटी फॉर द क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 सेज सम रोड्स आर शोन इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ मैप लुक फॉर देम इन द फोटो आंसर इज द रोड्स शोन इन द मैप आर क्लियरली विजिबल इन द फोटो फॉर द क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 सेज नेम रोड्स that you will cross on your way from rashtrapati bhavan to india gate answer is on my way from rashtrapati bhavan to india gate i have crossed the following roads and they are rafi mark janpath and man singh road for the question number 4 says look for the national stadium in map 1 can you see it in the photo answer is the national stadium is seen in map 1 but cannot be seen in the photo now Turn to page number one hundred and fourteen. The central hexagon. If we zoom in to look more closely at one part of the map, question number one says, "Look at the shape of the yellow area. Have you seen this shape before? How many sides does it have?" Answer is yes. I have seen this shape before. It has six sides. This place is called the central hexagon. Further, find out from the map. Here question number 1 says here question number 1 says if you are walking on rajput then after india gate on which side would the children park be answer is it will be on right side further question number 2 says which of these roads make the biggest angle between them first man singh road and shah jahan road b ashoka road and man singh road c Janpath and Rajpath. Answer is B. That is Ashoka Road and Man Singh Road. For the question number three says, which of the above pair of roads cut the right angle? Answer is Janpath and Rajpath cut at right angles. Now turn to page number one hundred and fifteen. Waiting for the parade. While waiting for the parade, Kancha and some of his friends wondered where this parade ends. Kancha is carrying a newspaper in which the route of the parade is written that is Vijay Chowk Rajpath India Gate Tilak Mark BS Zafar Mark Subhash Mark and Red Fort now turn to page number 116 mark the route question number 1 says trace the route of the parade in map 3 and mark India Gate and Rajpath so guys this you can do it yourself further question number 2 says look at the map carefully and find out part 1 says which of these is the largest road answer is tilak mark is the longest road further b part says if rubia is coming from jama masjid to join the parade guess about how far she will have to walk answer is rubia will have to walk about 1 km to join the parade further third part says The total route of the parade is about how long? Three kilometer, sixteen kilometer, twenty-five kilometer, eight kilometer. Answer is the total route of the parade is about sixteen kilometer long. Now turn to page number one hundred eighteen. Find out from map four. Part one says which of these is nearest to River Yamuna? The Diwan A M. So the answer is the Diwan E Khas is nearest. The river Yamuna than Diwan E Am. Further, B part says between which two building is Aram Gha? Answer is the Aram Gha lies between the Diwan E Khas and Rang Mahal. Further, C part says which building do you pass while going from Rang Mahal to the Humama? Answer is while going from Rang Mahal to Humama, we pass Aram Gha, the Diwan E Khas, and Moti Masjid. For the D part says which building on the map is farthest from Mina Bazaar? Answer is Hamama is farthest from Mina Bazaar. For the E part says 
about how far is lori gate from diwan e khas answer is lori gate is about 600 meter from diwan e khas now turn to page number 121 question number 1 says look at the map of india below and find the states which children are talking about the karnataka team starts from bangalore and moves in the north direction which state does it cross to reach delhi answer is from bangalore to delhi the team crosses following steps and they are maharashtra madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh from madhya pradesh the team may also go through haryana or rajasthan for the question number 2 says jammu and kashmir is to the north of delhi so the team from there travels south to reach delhi which state does it cross answer is himachal pradesh punjab and haryana for the question number 3 says nonu lives in gujarat nonu's friend javed lives in west bengal nonu wants to visit his friend in which direction will he travel answer is towards east for the question number 4 says is there any state which is to north of jammu and kashmir answer is no fifth question says is there any state which is to the west of gujarat answer is no for the sixth question says if 1 cm of the map shows 200 km on the ground use the scale to find out first part says about how far is delhi from jaipur answer is c that is 250 km for the b part says estimate how far is jaipur from bhopal answer is on the map which is equals to 2 cm and on the ground which is equals to 400 km now seventh question says look at the map and tell part 1 says which state is surrounded by four other states answer is madhya pradesh b part says which state has the largest area if its name is not on the map find it from your teacher or parents explain how you got your answer so guys this you can do it yourself for the c part says which state is about 8 times bigger in area than sikkim answer is c that is himachal pradesh for the d part says about how many times punjab is the area of rajasthan answer is rajasthan is about 7 times the area of punjab so guys i have covered all the question of this chapter in this video i hope you like this video and if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed please put your query in the comment section below for more such ncert solutions keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel agla sim schools and do not forget to wear mask and take good care of your health